Hey guys, hope you had a great holiday break. I missed you, hope you missed me. Uh, we got dumped on and just a big winter storm over here, but I'm um, happy to get back at it and hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. So here's my hockey pond under the willow here. And I didn't think we were gonna get enough water this week, but then we got dumped on with all this snow and then the forecast says next week, all this snow is going to melt and that means that pond is going to be full well so much for getting it on time for my game it hasn't even been given to ups yet so i guess we're going to play with the other one This is the face I make when my GoPro battery is at one bar when it should be at full. No worries, it does last the whole game. <laughs> Blazing shot. Wow! So what you can't see in the video was that their player had actually taken the shot at the empty net and Jackson made a save with his stick. Huh. Nice save on that one. I think it was you, Jackson, right? Was that you on that save? Good job. in the yellow socks is Eric, my defenseman, and he was actually at this rink earlier in the day with a work party and they played curling for like an hour and a half, 
and that's significant when we get to the third period and you'll see why. Wow. Oh, penalty to them. Oh, we scored. 1-1. One, one. Oh man, I hit the helmet. They're panda. I am learning new things. You can teach an old dog new tricks. So I feel like I should take a moment here to explain what I mean by the panda. And before I show you the panda, I have to show you how goaltending has evolved. When I started playing in the 90s, we used the vertical horizontal, also known as the VH. And that is where you have your pads in this formation in order to guard the post. Nowadays, most goalies use the reverse VH. And that came about when the nets um, weren't as deep and players started using wraparounds. So this was a way to prevent wraparound goals. Um, but, you know, I really feel this move is overused. It leaves that top portion very vulnerable. And uh, it's good to know both ways of making the save. So enter the Panda, the newest rendition of defending the post. And in this model, you kind of overlap the post with your leg, which is down in that uh, horizontal position. So I just recently watched this on YouTube and pulled it off. So, hey, when you watch goalies on YouTube, you get better. Two coming, switch it. I like to push my extra snow out front to prevent deeks rather than put it to the side to prevent wraparounds. Sorry. I mean to get it rolling. Oh, we got another one. Why it slammed it home. Two to one. Come talk to me every game. <laughs> you too. Do you guys want it? That was wide. that way either. Oh, 
I'm reverse DHing. Why am I reverse DHing? Vintage goalie. Wow, clutch goal. 3 1. Oh, poke checked it. <laughs> Otherwise, he was away. Oh yeah, the flop around, gotta love it. <laughs> okay guys, I promised you Eric's curling lessons would pay off, so here we go. How to say it? <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, assist off the blocker, <laughs> assist off the so blocker. So this begs the question, <laughs> what's the cooler goalie assist? Making a sweet pass with your stick or preventing a goal with a save and then one of your teammates the takes the rebound and scores? Leave which one you think is cooler in the comments. Good game. Good job. Good game. Good game. Good game.